Hey everybody, this is Ernie from The Realist here, bringing you the first hour for Bioshock Infinite. Not really going to talk a whole lot about what was going on in the review, because they, you, know, you might have already seen the review, and if you haven't, go take a listen. Uh, or take a look, it's a video review, so... I talk at length about what I think about the game. And here, I'm just going to really just be having fun with the game. Uh, just enjoying it, you know, for what it is and, and having a good time with it. Because this is just a, this is a great game, so. And it's something you really want to have fun with. So, like I said, we're just going to be playing the first hour of it. Of and that's that. I'm of you. So, one of the things I find really funny about this game versus others, it, it's amazing what... A voice actor character can do to improve the overall atmosphere and storytelling of a game. Previous games really didn't have it a whole lot, and I mean, most of your exposition was given to you through audio tapes, which it still is here, uh, and it's also given to you by other characters who talk to you. But in the previous games, you didn't talk at all. You just were. You were just a silent protagonist. You might as well have been Link from Legend of Zelda. I mean, you just sat there and stared um, wide-eyed and just completely in awe of everyone that, you know, spoke to you. I love how, you know, they hand him this box and it's like, oh, gun, some, some loose change, picture of a girl, a key, and some, uh, some coordinates. <laughs> and a code. It's like, uh... uh. I mean, I, I kind of—it kind of feels like that moment in Family Guy when Peter's uh, on the Wheel of Fortune. And he's like, uh, "Give me a cue, give me another cue, another cue, a Z, another cue, and a Batman symbol." <laughs> it's just like, it's like, okay, okay, I'm sure all this stuff will pan out to something here very shortly. But we're gonna leave these characters to their own. Um, Whatevers. These are, I, I will say this, uh, the two characters in the boat are uh, two of my favorite characters. They have really good, um, some really good moments in the game. But, I mean, like I said, we're not really here for the, the exactly the story elements or anything. We're just kind of here to play through. So... But yeah, I really, I really liked uh, the, the set of this game. The game's absolutely gorgeous. It was very much worth the um, the weight. I mean, this game has been on um, on the um, on the development track for quite some time. So about time they finally got it to us. But I'm glad that they finally did. And I mean, like I'll, I'll tell anybody any day of the week, I would much rather somebody give me a um, give me a game that. Um, has been in development for a while, then give me some game you just slap together. Yeah, it's like, cause you, you always talk to people and they're like, oh man, I just wish the game was out now. Fuck taking them so long, put a fucking game. It's just a fucking video game. It's like, it, it's it's not just a fucking video game. It uh, Video games take work. Just as much work, if not more so, than movies. So, you'll live though. You'll live. I, I, trust me, you will. It won't kill you. But, I mean, this was one of those games a lot of people were really anticipating, so... Card. It's good that they finally, you know, got it out to everybody. Huh. What in the world is... I do really dig is the fact that... Um, and with the exception of Bioshock 2, because in Bioshock 2, you actually start the game already... Uh, having been in Rapture, this particular game gives you that same feeling you got when you first entered Rapture in Bioshock One, and you know when you go to Columbia because I don't know, just it's something about it. It's something about actually seeing yourself entering the world and uh, you know, just going down the the rabbit hole, as it were. I mean, yeah, you just. You get a different vibe, whereas in the Abbas Rock 2, you just you're already there. You're already in this this uh, world, uh, this 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 city underwater that's uh, you know supposed to be just a wonder in and of itself. You're already there, so it's not as magical as when you go from a real world 
uh, you know, an actual believable setting to something like, you know, Rapture, and what was this? It's like, oh my god, you're going to a fucking city in the clouds. The bindings are there as a safeguard. Uh. I love the fact that you also get to get this guy's thoughts on this shit. Damn it! <laughs> That's exactly how I would have responded to that shit. I'd just be like, oh, shit. <laughs> no, no. Three, two, one. I don't say I like that. You, I like knowing the fact that this guy is not okay with the fact that he's about to get shot off to this crazy-ass place he's never been to, getting shot off like a monkey into space or some shit. Yeah. Hallelujah. No, I just look at it, man. Columbia is just a beautiful place. It's the it's the very antithesis, uh, atmosphere wise, to what Rapture is in the uh, in the first two Bioshock games. And this, this place is absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. I mean, there's very few times you see a place in Columbia that just looks wretched, and I think that's actually you know, what kind of sells uh, the, the the city. I think that's actually what really sells it, because ultimately, when you see Rapture, Rapture is an ugly place, so you expect terror and, and, and unease, but in this city, it's like, you know, it, everything's beautiful, so I mean, you're kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop, but what actually is going to happen is the fact that nothing's going to happen. Everything is already as it is. It's still an ugly place on the inside, you know, but... Well, I really, I really like the way they set you up here. Like I said, just going down that rabbit hole, man. I love it. One thing I will say, though, at no point did his employer tell him, "Hey, you know, I'm shooting you up to fucking city, uh, city in the skies." Like that, 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 that's information you should probably want back in 1912, when when you're getting ready to take a job. It's like hey, you shouldn't be to a city in the sky. I mean, I just just want to make sure. <laughs> Now, I love how they the, these guys basically have gotten this game. The the game as a whole has gotten fairly religious, a lot of a lot of religious undertones. Um, which I wasn't sure how how I felt about that at first, but it ultimately kind of grew. Usually, when a game has any kind of religious overtones, I get a little concerned because it, it's like, okay, is this going to be a, a, a heavy handed? Um, is this going to be like a heavy-handed offering, or are you, or or is this tongue-in-cheek? You know, or, or are you just, or are you just trying to set a mood, Heaven, and not really anything else? We'll see till judgment day. Just keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. There we are. And every year. On this day. Like I said, man, the effects in this game are just amazing. And like I said, the the, the water effects are just as just as good looking as they were in uh, Bioshock. I mean, I've never seen just such a such an attention to detail. These guys really know what they're doing. They're putting this shit together. I just totally interrupted this dude's sermon. Our founders and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. <laughs> Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know how I feel about that. Can I just say too, have this kind of baptism? I have never been a huge fan of. Cause it's like, okay, you're gonna drown the shit out of me to to to, I guess, get me to see God. I mean, come on now, really. There. Bring us the curb and wipe away the deck. What do you want? We have a deal to it. Open this door right now. I told you. 
Not gonna do it. Wonder if you can actually go in that. Oh, okay. They don't really let you touch that door until a little later, I guess. Let's see what this is all about. And craziness, uh, a little bit of prophecy, a uh, little bit of uh, everything. I love how they have these statues. Uh, I guess that's Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin and then George Washington there in the middle, I'm guessing. Did I get it right? Did I get it right? Yep. Got it. Without even really having to look. Awesome. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Oh, awesome. So they may better love the air. God, these people are fucking crazy. They treat their politicians as gods, and they try to drown people to fucking death, too. Wait, 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 that's actually, like, real life. Uh, <laughs> huh. It all makes sense now. Dude, you know, one thing I gotta say. Living in Colombia, one thing that would have to suck is... When you are trying to get somewhere, it's like, oh, wait a minute, I gotta go to this one place. Oh, wait a minute, it's floating away from me now. Oh, <laughs> it's almost like you're you're having to treat your your sidewalk and your your walkways like like they're on a bus schedule or some shit. Love it. Got the mechanical horse pulling the cart. I mean, it's good stuff, you know. Sure, that's working out for him very well. Got the ice cream shop. You got kids playing in the uh, fire hydrant. People sipping, probably sipping, sipping a sweet tea, sitting on the side there. You know, telling the you know, only thing missing is a mason jar. All right, pal. You gotta wait like all the rest. Got a parade going on here. And one thing I gotta say, one thing I've always dug about the Bioshock games is like, they always make it seem as though the rest of the world is fully aware that there is, uh, well, at least, maybe not so much with Rapture, but in this game, they make it seem like the world is fully aware that there's a city floating above it. They're not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Signs to the raffle fair. Huh. Let's go hit up this grocery store. I, like, I, I'm gonna do a little bit of, a little bit more exploring than what I would have normally done. Warm temperatures and light variable winds throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. Hmm. And now, back to the music. There you go. Give me that money. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're on an honor system, but, you know, uh, there's no consequences, so I don't really give a shit. Let's see. Let's go this way. See what's rocking over here. Would you care for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the Girls' Patriotic League. Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. <laughs> oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Is there anything over here? No, I don't think there's anything going back this way. We'll cut back the other way. Up, oh, I hear. I hear. The, is that the B sharps? I think that is the B sharp. I got it. I'm sorry. I don't care what anybody says. This is one of the best uses of an anachronistic song in something like this. <laughs> I mean, an acapella version of "God Only Knows" by the Beach Boys. But being done by a group called the B-Sharps, I mean... I mean, you gotta love it. I mean, come on. Ugh, good stuff. Anyway. But I just, I don't know, I love, I love the setup. I mean, the setup is really good. I mean, and I like that there's always people around. So they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Telegram for you, sir. Stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. 
Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutes. Of course. And uh, Lutes, I mean, they, this is really any, any kind of secret, but uh, the group that is taking you to the uh, yeah to the uh, lighthouse. Th those are the, the Lutesses, and that's where that note comes from. Um, not really gonna mess around with any of this stuff. Uh, I mean, there's there's games and things like that. I actually kind of want to move along to the actual story, but uh, oh, wait, here we go. Get our first power. One of those. With just a whisper, they're all. But it, uh, one thing I love about this is that in this game, they, I didn't really talk about this in the review because, I mean, it was really kind of a nitpick and if the game was fun enough that I didn't really pay it a whole lot of attention, then it must not have been that big of a deal, but uh, one, one thing that I do find really funny is that a lot of the powers in this game are actually powers from the first two games. They just uh, make them seem as though they're something else. I mean, this is the same power from the first game that controls the machines and robots and automaton type things. And let's go ahead and hit that with that. And there we go. He will let us in. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. <laughs> Heads. Or tails. <laughs> I love this part. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. <laughs> oh, I love it. Apparently everybody picks heads. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And here, let's go and get some more change out of here. Because, I mean, that's pretty much the main purpose of, of using this power. Uh, no, I don't want anything out of there. That's the main purpose of using this power, though, in the game. It's, it's basically just to get money out of the machines and try to... Um... This beauty oh, wait a minute. The whole division got them. If we're gonna flush the box out of the Skyline system, then we gotta have the best. Uh -huh. Hmm. Well, we'll be seeing one of those later. But, I mean, it's basically just waiting, you know, kind of... Oh. Huh. Never noticed that before. And then again, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. But yeah, I mean, it just it's just a good way to kind of keep the enemy on their toes. Oh. Now nah, I got a feeling that yeah, that that's that's going to be coming up later. Let's see. And one thing I, I think is really funny too is that this is like such a living, breathing city. I mean, I mean, people are just out there talking about their normal day-to-day -day shit, and there's stuff going on everywhere. And oh, huh, this is actually one of the more eye-opening spots in the game. Sorry, no sale. There's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. And I, I think we were told that, that was a bad thing and to, to, to stop doing things of that nature. Girl in all of Columbia? <laughs> all right then. The winner is number 77. Well, what do you know? And that's bad. Oh, shit. And th like, this is probably one of the more awkward parts. Because <laughs> I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, wow, so that's what Columbia is all about. <laughs> so basically, to give you an idea of you know, what kind of setting this is, man, it'll let you know, man, uh, integration, they ain't cool with that shit. Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> And, I mean, let's go ahead and be real here. We've got to do something about I don't think anyone should throw at the couple, so let's... I, I, 
I'm just gonna go out of limit and just hope that no one ever throws at the couple. Or at least if you do, it lets us know what kind of human being you are. Where'd you get that brand, boy? Oh, hey, we know these guys. We spoke to them a minute ago. Or listened to them a minute ago. No false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys. Oh, whoa, that could be bad. Oh, hey, 77 comes in handy after all. And oh, gruesome. Ew, super gross. Yay. So, well, let's check these guys, see if they got anything. And oh, hey, hey, you. There we go. Oh, and jacking his shit up. <laughs> oh, fucking his shit up. Ah, oh, god, that is just that is just way more satisfying than it should be. Okay, now nah, carrying on. Oh, fucking this shit up. Oh, hey, there's that guy. And that will probably never get old to me. And there we go. And you almost kind of have to become really obsessive about how you you uh, check garbage cans and things of that nature in this game, <laughs> because if you don't, you pretty much don't get anything. Let's get some money. Let's see what's up with this guy, and... Why not? We'll take the uh, ability to possess humans, because that's going to come in handy here in just a second. Possession now turns machine and man into allies. Hold and release to create a ghostly trap. And that's what they will say. I do like the traps. The traps are actually pretty cool. Uh, it's a nice touch. There you go. And send him after somebody, why not? And there we go. And that takes care of that. Let's get those bullets. There you go. Have another one. <laughs> oh wow, he took care of business. I like this guy. You die. There we go. Oh, hey. And, well, got him. I mean, I must say, the Skyhook is kind of powerful. I mean, that, that, that's one of those things I noticed in my uh, playthrough first time around. I was like, dude, this thing is fucking powerful. It's like, it, you really don't have to try very hard. Oh, hey. There we go. You don't really have to try very hard to, to damn near one-shot kill somebody. Where is this guy? Oh, shit, missed it. There you go. Doesn't matter. Oh shit, wait a minute. There you go. Get him off my ass for a little bit. And let's see. I'm sure there's somebody. Oh, whoa, hey. Got those. Oh shit. Hidden from behind. Bag it up, homie. Kneecap and chest, man. That's that's how I roll, man. Kneecaps and chest. Alright, let's grab us a little bit of these salts. And let's open up this gate, see what they got waiting for us. What's going on? 
Oh, sookie sookie now. Alright, let's do this. Oh shit. Now, I tried playing this game on 1999 mode, and I gotta admit, that mode is fucking crazy. It, you, you have to be... You have to be prepared for it. I mean, there's no getting around it. Okay, well, took care of that. Got those salts and getting a little devil's kiss. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, basically, the firepower from the last game gives you a few different uh, options as far as how you tackle some of your enemies and whatnot. <clears throat> and I love that every time, no matter which Bioshock, when you get that power for the first time, it's like it always does something borderline jacked up. <laughs> Press to throw a fiery grenade. Hold and release to create an explosive trap. And shaboom. <coughs> that wasn't no sample. <laughs> of course it wasn't. Oh, hey. There you go. Get you out of there. There we are. Get a little fire going on over there. Yeah, y'all ain't, ain't want none of this. There you go. That takes care of that. I don't know if I've actually played music to let you know that the fight is over. <laughs> I remember uh, the first time I, I kept hearing that noise and I was like, dude, what the fuck is that? I was like, where is that coming from? Uh, and, and every time, never fails. It was <laughs> just to let me know that the fight was over. No one quite used to that. There we go. Let's get some of that. Get some, let's see. I feel, you feel like such a hobo when you, you know, in these games. Because, like, you're basically just kind of pilfering off of somebody else's table. Uh, taking shit that people left behind and... Why not? It's like, oh, 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 they left some lunch, uh, or, or actually more like brunch on the table. Let's just go ahead and steal that from them, because why not? But I got I, I have to admit, one of the things I, I, I can't, you, you really can't help but love about the game is the fact that it is gruesome. It, they pretty much give you powers that allow you to just literally rape the battlefield <laughs> and just lay waste to people. It's just, it's the best. Get some of these salts back up and there we go. Why are you following us? Uh, Aperitif. <laughs> awesome. Why not? Let's go ahead and get the, get the shield. The shield actually helps you a great deal. Uh, I never really expanded it very much on my first playthrough, but I think for when I go through the second one, I'm probably going to do differently. I'd have to imagine. What was that? Surprising. Surprising that it worked? Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. A fair point. <laughs> you see why I love these guys. Lutessas are just... They're just great. They're just great. I mean, they're just all around great. I mean, you can't help but love them. I mean, they just say some of the most off the wall shit. I mean, let's see. I think this is actually ah, oh, this is actually our first uh, chance to use a sky hook. Damn hook must be magnetized. It's pretty neat. I mean, th for this particular section, I mean, you're not really using the rail, but you do get to kind of get a taste of what the. Uh, Skyline Strike is. I mean, it's pretty nice stuff. And let's pick up that machine gun. And let's see. Let's go ahead and take out some people. Oh, wait. I didn't get everything there. I'm sure there's some people sneaking around here somewhere that we want to take out. As our prophet has seen, the false shepherd has come. Oh, hey. Speak of the devil. There you go. Help a brother out. And 
And I know this thing's gonna turn on me sometime soon, so let's just be prepared for that. There. Cause we all knew it was bound to happen at some point. And I'm out of salt. Well that sucks. Let's get some of those salts back. There we go, let's create some traps. Hopefully we get to see those. Oh, yeah, we got to see the fruits. Oh, no, you don't. There you go, have some of that. <laughs> oh, shit. There you go, get you. Oh, shit, wait a minute. Get you out of here. Actually getting low on health. Ew. Okay. There we go. Let's jump over to here and over here and get out of harm's way. And I will let's see, is this this is where we go. So we're going to actually call right here. This is going to be the end of the first part because I think we got a good nice chunk of the way through. And stick around for part two because it will be coming up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the new